Good morning, everyone, and Merry Christmas. I'm Sarah Kanji, and Barry Burbank is here. It's uh, Merry Christmas, Barry. How are and you? And Merry Christmas, Christmas to you, too. Get the mouth moving here. Right. So we were thinking we were going to have a white Christmas, but it sounds like things have changed. Mm -hmm. The son of former Senator Ted Kennedy will not follow his father's footsteps, at least not right now. Well, unless you're heading out to buy a Snickers bar or some scratch tickets from the convenience store, you're out of luck trying to find that last-minute Christmas present. But you are not alone. As Jim Smith found out, some procrastinators really let things slip until the very last minute. Well, giving and receiving will be a little easier in Boston pretty soon. The restaurant Panera is opening a location near Government Center to serve anyone who is hungry, whether they can afford it or not. Well, today, toys will be delivered to so many patients at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston, and it is all thanks to the tireless efforts of a man from Boxford. As Michelle Roberts reports, a personal loss has driven him to brighten the holidays for so many others. That is so, so sweet. Well, we have much more still to come as we continue this morning, including big announcements and what's shaping up to be another big political race here in Massachusetts. <laughs> well, unless you're heading out to buy a Snickers bar or some scratch tickets from the convenience store, you're out of luck trying to find that last-minute Christmas present. But you are not alone. As Jim Smith found out, some procrastinators really let things slip until the very last minute. Oh boy, Terry's going to have a lot to make up for there. It is 5.41 this morning. We are commercial free. I'm John Kelly. Now the mayor joked that he is also considering a run for the Senate seat expected to be vacated by John Kerry. Well, they might be thousands of miles away, but hundreds of NATO troops serving in Afghanistan are celebrating Christmas in their own way. If you're heading home for Christmas, that was a great picture, wasn't it? The Mass Pike was completely empty, so be safe today as you head to Grandma's house and celebrate. Today, toys will be delivered to so many patients at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston, and it is all thanks to the tireless efforts of a man from Boxford. As Michelle Roberts reports, a personal loss has driven him to brighten the holidays for so many others. Well, on the Health Watch this morning, if you've had a heart attack, getting a blood transfusion could be a lot more dangerous. Well, Pope Benedict XVI is addressing the faithful right now at the Vatican. The pontiff is delivering his traditional Christmas message of peace to the world.